sure, sure. <laughs> it's so retarded when you like liberate um, uh, Israel. Yeah. Uh, all of their territory gets like fucked up and like some they this is a mess with some territories being left to England in the middle of nowhere. Uh huh. Yeah, my God, I have like some of the worst troops in the game right now. I mean. <sighs> Can you believe what this guy did? Whoever, whoever had this stupid idea in France to put a fucking three infantry and an armored car in the in the in 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 the, in the same unit is a total dumb shit. For one thing, the armored car has to move slower than the infantry, so it doesn't really matter because the armored car is weaker than the infantry practically. It has only 500 units in it right now. <laughs> and and not only that, but but what what's with this motorized and cavalry division that has only two guys in it? What the hell? <laughs> France is so fucked right now, I swear to God. I mean, it is so different from Germany when I look at it. I mean, the Germans are so ordered, you know, it's like three infantry divisions, one HQ, three infantry divisions, three tanks. <laughs> it's like it's like a world of difference between the, the Germans and the French. The, the Germans don't even start out with any cavalry. <laughs> I mean, they are so modernized by even World War... <laughs> even by the end of World War One, it's just ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you wanna know a crazy idea I'm having, but it might be too crazy. What? Influence Italy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's gonna work. I think the Italians are just gonna join the Axis no matter what. I mean, they may they may pull the World War One trick on the on the Germans and join the the Allies like <laughs> yeah. right in the middle of the war or something like that. But uh, I doubt it. <laughs> what about uh, me influencing Turkey? Well, that could work, but. Turkey doesn't have that good of an army, so... I guess so, but... Um, you could try I influencing the Soviet Union. <laughs> 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 Probably wouldn't worry because, you know, the game pretty much makes it so... I just, think, I just think about that bloody song, song you sent me <laughs> when it is came oh, yeah. that yeah. Quite, quite a good song. Uh, what about National China? Could that be? No, no, that will fuck up everything if they join the allies and Japan attacks them. <laughs> yeah, well... As far as now, as far as I'm looking at it right now, I think my idea about about you know only building the Maginot Line at the northern and southern part of the Belgian border is, uh, it's oh my God, I lose one unity from that. That's bullshit. Ah, uh, great peace demonstration. Fuckers. Hey, it's so um. <sighs> Um, what the hell? Rogue politician? I'm getting bombarded with horrible fucking events. <laughs> no. <laughs> I hate this one. I have to either lose one unity and and five leadership or gain five descent. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> you guys really want France to lose, don't you? Oh my god. I gotta reorder my technology because of this asshole who's just raving about random nonsense. Ugh. Hey. It's a problem. I was thinking of a possible invasion of a, against the Spanish because I want dagger. That's where I get the effect of the, um, the Gibraltar Strait. Wait, what do you want? I couldn't. I couldn't even hear what you said. Sorry. <laughs> Tanger. Oh, Tanger. I see. Yeah. That where I get the that place I having heard, Gibraltar Strait. Well. <laughs> Either that or I will focus on rushing the. But all those, those um, Italian territories, north, yeah. well, in Emitrea, I think it's called today, something similar. So, how's it going for <laughs> my baguette man? Uh, it's going horrible. I just had <laughs> two awful events that just decreased my leadership and unity. <laughs> I mean, both of them literally decreased my unity. The, the road politician and the great peace demonstration. Now I have 39% unity. I mean, the Germans have like 90. <laughs> I mean, this is horrible. <laughs> I'm at 80, though. But English people are English people, and they're proud. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what do you have? Not 80. What the fuck? <laughs> 
unless my unity goes from like 40 to 50 in like only only half a year, I'm gonna be totally screwed. But if, if your unit is gonna be like that, if you look Paris, well, if you lose Paris, if I lose Paris, I'll lose the war. <laughs> even if I, I even if they literally do an airborne invasion of Paris and that's it, I'll, I'll literally lose the war right then. They'll say, "Eh, time's time, eh, eh, it's <laughs> over." <laughs> we tried to build a national line, didn't work. Never mind. <laughs> God, I hate low unity. I mean. Because, cause you know, when you think about it, if you've got low unity, then it's like, <laughs> you can't really do anything about it, because it takes forever to build it up. And when you go to war, you know, if you lose a lot, then you're totally screwed. I mean, there there is no refund for low unity, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> granted, while I'm playing, uh... <laughs> Germany as very easy, there is practically no reason for me to be worried, because <laughs> there is literally no way I'm going to lose my unity, because <laughs> I'm just taking territory after territory, and the only thing I'm going to lose is, like, <laughs> the upper part of Norway, but that's not, but it doesn't even have any victory points where I was losing. <laughs> <laughs> and I remember the Soviets, you know, they were they were attacking me in Nor in Norway and Finland, you know. They made that huge bulge in the center there. But then I took back all the territories that Finland had that actually were victory provinces, and then it didn't really matter because they hadn't really took taken anything. So then I came from the sides when I took Leningrad and uh and uh Arkhangelsk and then it was pretty much over. <laughs> the Finns had their revenge when they when they declared Conquer on the Soviet Union, <laughs> <laughs> and I got all the Soviet Union that the that the Finns and and Romanians had already taken over. <laughs> and you know the best part, <laughs> Japan what? got Vladivostok. <laughs> so it's a total, it was like a total absolute victory. You know, I mean, literally, it it, it was literally complete destruction for the Soviet Union. I even took over their their uh, puppet states of Mongolia and, Ta and Tanatuba and then they and then I changed the backwards end to the uh to the uh uh the uh well I can't remember how they call that that uh type that they use for the uh axis powers in this game but either Gothic. way it changed that so I was happy cuz I didn't you see that backwards end. What? You mean the Gothic? Oh yeah, yeah Gothic, that's right. So, um, what, what's, uh, how, how are you gonna act as soon as Germany declares war on Poland? I'm gonna, I'm gonna invade Germany. Cause it, it, cause look at what he's got. I mean, he's only got like one infantry division on, on the border. I mean, he doesn't even have anything in the south, so I might as well take over Germany. I mean. And what's your reaction as soon as they break through the Maginot Line? He's not going to break through the Maginot Line. Definitely yeah, not on the Yeah, but imagine if he does. <laughs> what? Imagine what if if it does. What, imagine that. Well, if he breaks over on the west, then I'm gonna try to I'm I'm gonna try to surround him in the center. That's what I'm gonna try to do. So I'm gonna I'm gonna move through Belgium on the west and the and the and the east, and then just try to surround him in the center and try to cut off his his forces at Brussels or or Ram or some other place in the center. You know, wherever uh -huh. wherever he invades. You know. Maybe I should uh, move my capital to Scapa Flow. <laughs> No. <laughs> if you use the Royal Navy and he doesn't build any carriers, then he's screwed if he tries to invade you. Because cause all you have to do is that when he goes over to try to invade one of your territories, just send every ship there and they will destroy it. You know, e even if he has the Bismarck and Turbis. Because you've got carriers, and carriers always beat battleships, but battleships are good at killing off, you know ships that get close to the carriers, so, you know, <laughs> it's pretty much over unless he builds a huge juggernaut fleet like I did, you know, so. <laughs> With its almighty ten carriers and two, two, bi two, two battleships that weren't even Bismarck class, but they were even an even more advanced class. <laughs> it was virtually unstoppable. <laughs> I think I sank, like, about three carriers <laughs> and about five he battleships with that fleet. I didn't lose a single capital ship. <laughs> it was just absolute destruction. <laughs> hey Jeremy, here's an here's some advice. Don't build carriers, they suck. <laughs> <laughs> They're probably listening to that because Oh, you just land some troops. That's cool. Uh -huh. Wait, they're all infantry. Uh, uh, 
they don't have anything else. England is England, you know. England so, sucks, where know. should they be placed? Should they stay right where they are? Or? Um, well, that could or actually they... work, because that, that would surprise them at, at the northern part, because I've got all these troops in the center, you know. You, you can just march up through through the... Uh, or should I go to, like, uh, the Italian border? Corsica? Oh, don't worry about the Italians. I can take care of them. I've got a, I've got a shitload of guys on the on the border there. I'll just I'll just start to invade them. I'll take over Tripoli, and that'll be pretty much it for the Italians. As, what oh, happened now? Fuck! Hey. Another goddamn bad. Hey, uh, <laughs> the abduction of Edward uh, Seven. Yeah. What the hell? Well, yeah, that happened. Yeah. Uh huh. <sighs> what the fuck? <laughs> no. Something we could do that oh will make this window war like this, something. <laughs> what if I make like a army, army on Corsica, then just invade Roma? <laughs> <laughs> and then the war breaks out. <laughs> yeah, I could, I could invade Rome. You know, I mean that that is an idea I had, but I don't know. <laughs> I sort of want to, I sort of want to beat back the the Italians if they do. I want to, I want to wait and see if the Italians are gonna, you know, join the Axis and. And join the war against against me, so so I can just counter them. You know, <laughs> I'm just gonna wait and see. Right now, I'm just I'm just thinking about you know possibly going into Germany or just or just waiting for them to attack me in the north. You know, while I hold the marginal line in the east and the north and the and the uh, sort of the southern part of the western part. I guess if that's if that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> You get what I mean. I mean, I'm, I'm building, I'm building uh, forts in Sedan, Longuillon, and uh, Dunkirk, and Hazebrook, and I'm just leaving Lule, Cambrai, Hirson, and uh, Charleville with with a shitload of uh, motorized and. Hey, I was thinking. Cars. Wait, are you building new forts? Yes, I'm building them in uh, Dunkirk, Hazebrook, Sedan. Okay, because I was wondering if you could just hold you guys where they are, and I'm trying to influence Brussels. And Holland. That way, uh, I could minorly try to hold. You see the huge river going through, like Belgium. Yeah. Try making a defensive line there. Oh yeah, I think that's what but, they did. And yeah, but but uh, so then we have your say, big line as a backup line back there, so I can just draw back if something bad happens. You know. Yeah, that's true. And I and I do plan in fate on. On invading Belgium, you know, as soon as they try to take it over, I'll, I'll try to get military access, and hopefully, hopefully they'll want to, you know, Belgium and the Netherlands will want to join the Allies as soon as Germany declares war on them, if they do, of course, you know, because I've seen really strange playthrough of Germany when it comes to the AI. <laughs> like, sometimes they'll invade Poland and then just stop. I mean, literally just stop, they won't even do anything else. <laughs> but, what if... I'm just thinking of some sick plans now. What if when Germany attacks Denmark, I send troops to Norway? And that way we got a base there. Yeah. That isn't what they did in World War II, and that could have actually worked if the Germans, you know... If the Germans invade, then that could actually work, because you could, you, you know, you could just surround them with an enormous amount of troops if you just put all your guys there, you know? Yeah, but I... S Oh, just got this weird plans in my head. <laughs> but, <laughs> like, uh, but I was planning. What if? Uh, I'm not what if now. I just try to take the big territories in Libya, like land troops all over the Libyan coast, uh -huh. and just take that out as quickly as possible. That way, we will secure most of Africa. Well, same work. way, same way with um, Ethiopia. If you just make a mass of troops around it, that way I could just. Push, push right through, you know. Uh huh. Yeah, that could work. How can Portugal have such a huge number of territories in southern Africa? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why they were doing so much. <laughs> it's sort of funny when I look at it. it. Almost looks like they took the territories that Germany had. <laughs> They they look like they had some of this, you know, Germany. I think I think Germany had some of those territories that they have, but I'm not sure. Hey. <laughs> I'm looking at my guy's uh, small arms right now. What? He got the Bren gun, Mark One, oh, really? as a small as a small uh, a as small a small arm. arm. That's a light machine yeah. gun. 
Oh, cool! I'm built. I'm 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 researching the moss right now. You know what the moss is? Uh, no. It's a it's a French submachine gun. <laughs> oh. So oh. guys are gonna what? <laughs> I used to, like. I just moved my foot a little bit, just stretched it, yeah. and it sounded like you made out a file cracker out of it. I could like hell. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. But uh, trying to take a look at the like, uh, I would be kind of hard to if they storm and take Netherlands. The Germans would yeah. be hard if they took the the marsh in the bottom left. Hard to attack for us and take us back, but I don't know. <laughs> Yeah. But I think I think we. I don't know if we're gonna survive or not, but uh, I guess we'll see. I'm sure you can, because whenever I've seen Journey build up, they've always built a shitload of you know they've always built a shitload of destroyers and cruisers, and it's never worked. You know, it's just it's just not the right kind of ships to build. You know, I mean they mm -hmm. build all this fucking you know quantitative units. It's like it just doesn't work when the when the British have. You know, in, an enormous amount of battleships, and then just you know a couple of carriers, and that's like that just destroys an entire navy. Sometimes, you know, <laughs> I mean, carriers are so un ungodly powerful because they can strike from a distance, even beyond a fucking super battleship. I mean, it's just it's just ridiculous why they build so many light cruisers. You know. <laughs> well, I better look at my politicians. Jesus Christ, some of these guys are worthless. Like Leon Bloom, all he does is just... Well, all he does is just do tendency to drift. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> or he could do biased intellectual suscep susceptibility to common turn. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Never mind. Oh, wait, wait a minute. Oh, oh, I do have him. Okay, Vincent Oriol. He's actually pretty good. He's got plus ten IC. That's just like, uh, um, oh, what's his name again? Uh, it's like, oh, Wilhelm Schock. He was he was really good because he gives you the plus ten percent IC as well. Mm -hmm. Let's see here. Hmm. I suppose I could have ruling party support. That might help my national unity. <laughs> My head of state is a barking buffoon. <laughs> what? <laughs> Apparently they hate Albert Lebrun for some strange reason. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that makes perfect sense. Yes, it it makes absolutely no sense. <laughs> well, I'll change the... Uh, the Minister of Security to Pierre Auguste Chardinier. <laughs> oh. I think that's how you pronounce it, I'm not sure. <laughs> I think I was just making up a French accent there, <laughs> completely off the top of my head. <laughs> Alright. Oh, I, I, I can't even have anyone else besides Maurice Gamelin. And of course, they take the the picture of him. I, I, think, I think that picture of him is when he's I don't know. I I have no idea what that possibly could be, but that I think that might be when he's when he's like reading the terms of surrender for France or something. I don't know because he looks really he looks really sad in the picture they chose for the game. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, who? Uh, Maurice Gamelin, the uh, the chief. Oh of the yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's, it looks like a dog. At least in that picture. Yeah, he certainly does. <laughs> I'm gonna change the chief of the army to Leon Victor Bourgeois. <laughs> hey, look at what your a, top what left amazing font. name. What? Look at your... the Belgian board. Oh my god. You got a shitload of guys over there. <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> hey, well... Oh, I thought... Oh, never mind. I thought those were like Irish troops or something. Hey, are you gonna try to invite, invite uh, uh, Ireland to the Allies? <laughs> we, is it necessary? Well, it's not. It, it's not necessary, but it could help. You know. I mean, I don't know. I, I thought the Irish. Uh, what were the I think it's kind of useless to influence the nations because. Yeah, yeah I, I know what you mean. It, I, I, it's because we have too much neutrality to be able to invite them. 
Yeah. So I don't see why we're doing it. Well, why I'm doing it. Well, I so think I'm it's the idea it. that you build up the, you know, the influence so that when you have, you know, no re neutrality, then you can, d then you can d invite them. You know, when the war starts, yeah. I guess. Oh, but I, have I, new but I remember what I, uh, how I was trying to influence Hungary, and they were like right, right there. You know, I mean, they were so close to being, you know, invited to the Axis, but I just couldn't invite them because their neutrality was too, was too high. Mm. <laughs> it's like they hadn't even declared war on anybody, and this was ruined practically. The whole plan just completely gone. <laughs> oh, cool! I just I just uh, researched supply production, and now my supplies are a lot lower in uh, in uh, in need to. Uh, to build them, so now, so now I can now I can start uh, upgrading my troops properly. Okay, <laughs> yeah, I'll I'll move my, all my bombers to France just when the time comes. That is. That works. Yeah, you should probably move most of your tactical bombers because you know. Yeah. I don't know. but I, I'm I only got one squadron in England, so I was planning to build some actually. Oh yeah. I'm looking at the planes they're having right now, for example. <laughs> the in their interceptor is a Gloucester Gladiator. Oh and God! <laughs> but hey, hey, don't, don't. But in Isle to Stormwick, uh, the Finns used this plane, and I really liked it. But only problem is, the engine can cut out sometimes. Oh really? Oh my yeah, God! Like, uh, like when you're going too fast or the engine is getting overheated, it just turns off. And yeah. you need to like spam this engine key to get it started again. That's but imagine, <laughs> but, it, but uh, it's, it doesn't really matter when you're high up. You still got the altitude and speed, so you're still flying. But uh, you get kind of panicked yeah. when that happens. Yeah, but I bet whoever made that plane was on speed. <laughs> 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 I mean, seriously, the engine cut out right in the middle. Are you flying it, not even being attacked or anything? That's but, horrible. Hey, I I could even, I took out some Yak 3, no, I don't, but I took out some Yak planes, and, uh, so, some planes, and it should not be underestimated, but still, then you make it out, that's the only thing, <laughs> oh my God. and it's, and it's kind of slow too. Well, that makes sense. It, it is a Viper, right? Yeah. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. but. Yeah, I've got an ass load of submarines. I got like 15. S I got more submarines than the Germans do. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> I thought the Germans had like a billion submarines even at the beginning of the war. <laughs> <laughs> hey, now that I think about it, maybe, maybe what the Germans did is they just captured a shitload.